Welcome back, everybody. All right, so every Thursday, we take a viewer question and take it to everyone's favorite meteorologist, a segment we like to call Ask Ellen. So, Ellen, today's question comes from Dan. He lives in West Olive. He has a question about this summer's rain. He says every year they get nailed with lake effect snow, but this summer the rain is either moving north or south or just dying off on the lake, so he wants to know what's happening. All right, so this is a great question. So first and foremost, we typically see this for a lot of lakeshore areas, not just West Olive. So to describe what's happening, let's talk about the radar and rain first. Now, it doesn't always skip a certain area. This is rain shower action from this morning, for example, and it did roll through the West Olive region. But you can see how showers are broken in general in the summertime because they're convective. They are based on individual clouds. So that means even though you see a line coming towards you, no matter where you are in West Michigan, there is a chance that it's going to be missing you to the north and the south. And because you have that anticipation that it's going to hit you, you're more likely to feel like you were just gypped or skipped. But if you live along the lakeshore, like West Olive, which, for example, is only three miles away from Lake Michigan, there's an extra reason why you don't always see the rain in the summertime. And it has to do with how summertime storms form. A lot of times, summertime storms needs the sun to heat the ground, and then that warm air rises to the sky and makes clouds for us. This happens on the other side of Lake Michigan, but it can also happen on our eastern side of Lake Michigan. So spots like Grand Haven and Holland get this cool shadow that actually prevents cloudiness. You can see this actually from a couple of days ago. Notice how the cloud bank actually starts after West Olive because the cold air pushes inland just a bit. So it's almost like reverse lake effect. You get that reverse lake effect cool air to roll on shore and gyp some spots of rain. Right, makes sense. There you go, Dan. And if you have a question for Ellen, you can let us know. Send an email at the7 at woodtv.com.